Hello there skaters. Thanks a lot for tuning in. In today's video, I'll try and teach you how to nail the outside edge of your skates. It is a super hard thing to a lot of skaters. Why is that? Because it's so unnatural to the human body. We're not used to stabilize things on narrow wheels or blades, and we're only used to going straight forward on flat feet. Therefore, it's a tricky thing. I hear it from all my ex-colleagues that retire from skating. Whenever they give it a shot, the worst part is the angles and being able to steer those edges. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you by three steps how you will for sure at the end of it, be able to land and push on the inside edge, of course, but also the outside edge of your skates, allowing you to get more out of each push if you started early on, and also allow you to land it under your center of gravity so you can make your body weight work for you instead of your muscles. My name is Victor Halthorp, two times Olympian, professionally nine skater, part of team Rollerblade World Team, and I'm happy to guide you through these three steps today. Now step one is one that I really enjoyed myself. It is super simple, especially if you live in a country with a lot of bike paths, or if you don't, imagine a white line or create a white line. The idea here is if you have a straight line, then you can simply force yourself to put your skate on each side of that line. So driving it over, driving it over. That will little by little allow you to put more and more pressure and you can play around with it. At first, simply place it just a little on the outside or inside of that white line and drive it over. I'll just show you how that looks from an aerial view so you've got an idea of it. If you have a white line, it's easier. I used to do this for marathon skates when I was a kid, just really playing around with it and forcing myself to put more and more pressure and body weight on the first stage of that push where you're on the outer edge. Now, if you're still struggling with this, the second tip we're gonna go through here is where you really try and focus on putting the knee here. Think of the outside of your kneecap to point towards your toe, the outside of your toe, and then try and think of that to go really into the asphalt. You don't have to roll actually here, you can almost just do it as you're standing with one foot on here and then try and just play around with it, put more and more body weight on it till you can even lift up here and then feel comfortable. Then you add a little bit of speed and then you just try and go straight forward a bit like in the first drill. If you have a white line, if you feel comfortable with it, you can play around with that already. But now you just put it down there. It's okay to not look like a proper skater at this point because we're really just working on that specific thing. But it's gonna look a little like this. So you roll forward and then you think of that knee pointing out towards the outside of your toes and then you're naturally gonna be on the outer edge. The third and final one is the most classic one. It's actually just doing slalom. This sounds weird because on slalom we have two feet on the ground. But if you do it and if you're very conscious about where you put your weight and your body weight, your pressure, then slalom can also become the greatest exercise entry drill to getting on the outer edge, but especially trying to work on a real double push. So when you do slalom, if you look down at your feet, you are gonna be on the outside edge. The only difference is you have the other leg to stabilize. But if you slowly try and really, instead of putting pressure on the outside, put pressure on that inner leg. Feels a little strange, but you will realize that you're actually putting pressure on the outside edge. I'm gonna show you how that exercise really looks from above, and as you can see at the end of it, I'm actually lifting off and only standing on that leg that goes from inner to outer. Skater friends, that was basically my three drills on how you can very efficiently and easily get on the outer edge of your skates. If this is too easy for you, and you're really almost on the edge to making a proper double push, then I suggest you try this one out. I call it the crisscross. You're basically doing crossovers to either side, alternating from one cross to the other. It is a little more spicy, it's a little complicated, but if you can do crossovers both ways, you should be able, with a little bit of practicing your coordination, be able to do this one exercise. It's the elite of the elite, and if you can do this properly, well, you've proven to yourself that you can actually push under, which is a double push when you finish it. So try that final one out, and when you're done doing that, subscribe to my channel for more inline tips and tricks, nutrition hacks, biohacks, and stay tuned on my journey to my third Winter Olympics. It was a blast having you guys for this session, and I'll see you on the skates, on the wheels, on the blades. My name is Victor Althorpe, over and out.